This is a very serious uh, challenge that await both men. I mean, the best brings out the best. We haven't seen the best of Canelo, and we haven't seen the best of Golovkin. and we'll see it Saturday night, September 16th. Well, the importance of Fight Week is, you know, the guys are finally nearing that moment of truth. And I think that as a reporter, you're there to observe their mood, how they look physically, uh, their behavior. It's a great opportunity to really kind of get them in their really last relaxed moment in front of us. The Grand Arrivals is something that is just more intimate. It's really their last thoughts before the fight. Even, even though he doesn't have a rematch clause, you'll give him a rematch if it's a close fight? Claro que sí, no tengo ningún problema. We were talking about the birth of your daughter. Was it hard for you to have to train while she was being okay, born? No, okay, asking for my family. You know, this different. Just my focus on the boxing. Boxing is different. I thought that Golovkin seemed a little bit chippy in his comments. Like, he didn't want to absolutely talk about the birth of his daughter. He was trying to you know, dodge any kind of like personal questions. And he just seemed more irritable than I've ever seen him. Oh, this is my game, this is my fight, this is my, no, I'm boss. I'm not Canelo, yeah, I'm a champion. Is it the pressure of the situation? Is it all getting the best of him? And is it going to affect his performance in the ring? I want to thank everybody for coming out to the final press conference for Canelo Golovkin. The stakes couldn't be any higher. I, I strongly feel that when you take a look at a fight like this one, it's really hard to remember when we've witnessed this type of matchup. Um, it's been years. We had a great training camp, great sparring. Gennady's 100%. I'm sure that uh, Chef Juanetti had prepared Canelo the same way. An event like this can only be uh, a super fight between somebody like Canelo Alvarez and Triple G. Sé que va a ser una pelea muy dura, pero estoy listo para esto. Una pelea que ustedes querían ver, aquí está. Disfrútenla como yo la voy a disfrutar. Nos vemos el 16 de septiembre. I don't want to talk too much, you know, just I'm ready. I respect Canelo's team. I know this is the biggest day for us, and not for us, for boxing. It's a huge history fight. I see you September 16th. Thank you very much. Bernard, I know you went down to San Diego. Yes. And Oscar De La Hoya sometimes sneaks down there to Canelo's camp. He did and a talks times. To, But he didn't really about this fight. He said, I sent Bernard. Yeah. And what did you tell Canelo about winning this fight? My conversation with Canelo was very short. You went round by round. You don't get caught up in Triple G's passion. And he has to make him think before he punch. His combinations and his hand speed has to be perfect come Saturday night. Don, I know you're especially interested in this fight between Canelo and Triple G. Why are you so excited for this fight? And you've got two guys that all they think about is winning. Canelo would have fought him two years ago. Yeah. But Oscar made the right decision. He wanted to wait until he became a full-fledged middleweight. Now he is a full-fledged middleweight, and we'll, we'll see what happens. Canelo's gonna stop him in the late rounds. I think that Canelo will wear out, not only physically, but mentally. And once he starts wearing out, Gennady will start catching him with shots, and I think his phys Gennady's physicality will be too much for, for Canelo. 160 pounds! When those guys are in opposite corners, I want the readers to, to feel like they know these guys as completely as possible and as much as is relevant about this battle that's coming. 160 pounds! I've written the stories. 
We've had the interviews. The fighters have said everything that they can say. The only thing that's left to do is to watch this fight.